veterans all day, and this next story is one that will truly inspire you as it did me. Please take a look. Hi, I'm Jonathan Michael Turnbull, major in the United States Army. I'm 35 years old, living in Gaylord, Michigan with my wife, Samantha, and our two children, Ian and Scotty John. I always knew I wanted to serve in the United States Army. I was commissioned a second lieutenant, deploying over five times in the last 11 years of service. Our focus was not precisely on killing just bad guys, but ensuring that when we stepped away from the war zone, that the government was able to step up and take control and provide security, freedoms, and rights of the people. We worked to create a safe place and safe systems in place for over 4,000 girls to return to school. On January 16th in 2019, we had a routine combat mission that was by one of the schools where we opened the doors for the girls to return. Just going out and talking with them and seeing how they were enjoying school, I gave the order of March, kind of telling everybody what the plan was. But in the brief moment that we were all together, an ISIS fighter walked up to my group, unbeknownst to us, and detonated a suicide vest, instantly killing three of my teammates and my linguist. Having Samantha by my side was an incredible boost to my recovery. Something as simple as playing music in my hospital room to make me more cheerful and having her there to hold my hand and help me through it. Today, I've had 22 surgeries. I lost my right eye. Being 100% visually impaired has been the biggest adjustment. We moved into our new house in June of this year. I'm trying to learn where everything is. Something simple as trying to figure out my way around the house. There is a lot of getting used to it, but the one injury that is glossed over, I guess for the most part, um, emotional trauma and the spiritual trauma from the explosion. Today, I work with other veterans, telling them what happened to me so we can relate to each other and not just veterans, but anybody who's gone through something has a story, and I encourage everybody to talk about it. Please welcome here Major John Turnbull and his amazing wife, Samantha. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Samantha, you found out about this bombing on the news? Yes. I woke up to my phone just buzzing like crazy, and it was a news app that I had on my phone, and it just had said, um, multiple troops killed in Mambage. And I thought, oh no, this is, that's where John, John's at. And as I'm reading this, I got another notification that said, um, four troops were killed. And I thought, four, that's half the team. So how did you find out that John was alive? Um, later that afternoon, his boss and chain of command, they all came to our house. At that point, they had said, right now, John is alive. Okay. But he's in really, really bad shape. Um, at the time, he was only given 12 hours to live. But he ended up, he pulled through. Oh my gosh, okay. And how do you stay in a mindset of positivity and can do? Um, the power of positivity is incredible. Um, I remember uh, a gentleman by the name of Chaplain Braswell at Walter Reed told me, he's like, what I recommend is um, the power of positivity. He's like, every time you think of something and it's a negative, replace it with instantly with two positive thoughts. And so th that's one way that got me through uh, the last two and a half years I just want to hang on your every word and keep <laughs> learning about the power of positivity from the two of you. And I thank you so much you. for giving it to us here. And we have a, a surprise for you. Um, we have secretly teamed up with the Home Depot Foundation and Tunnel to Towers Foundation. And they've worked together over the years building smart homes. Um, for wounded veterans and they build them so they are custom fit um, to their needs. 
And I am so happy to share that they're gonna work with you to completely renovate your home mm -hmm. and make it accessible specifically to your needs. And that's not all. Um, they're also going to uh, pay off the remainder of your mortgage so you can take that off your plate. Um, and wow. there's also one last thing. Um, John, your friend and colleague, uh, Army Chief Warrant Officer too, Jonathan R. Farmer, um, who was killed in the 2019 attack. Um, his wife, Tabitha, is who nominated you for this program. Mm -hmm. And she has a message for you that I wanted both of you um, to hear. Oh my goodness, congratulations, Turnbulls. I am so excited and grateful that you're receiving a tunnel to Tower Smart Home. I know that my John is up in heaven, just absolutely beaming that you've received this amazing, well-deserving, and generous gift. And Turnbulls, the farmers love you! Mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, she is the strongest person I know. <laughs> yeah, she's by far, the, the family is incredible, but she is just the most incredible person that I've ever met. Um, oh, we love them so much. Yeah. Major Jonathan Turnbull and Samantha Turnbull, thank you to the Home Depot Foundation and the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. Um, and thank you for being here, truly. Mm -hmm.